Well, it's, it's, it's a great place. I think University of South Florida is on a roll right now. We've had so many successful things this summer. Achieving preeminent status, which is fantastic. That goes hand in hand with what we're doing here in athletics. We've had such great success over the past couple years and to have football being at 21 and four over the last two years, two consecutive bowl wins over power five teams. I mean, especially for a relatively young university uh, to, to reach that. The, the, the only other two schools that are a part of that level uh, had a 100-year head start on us. And for us to reach that now is just a, a testament to uh, all the great work of President Ken Shaft and, and the Board of Trustees and everyone that's helped make it happen. Coach Strong as our new football head coach. Yeah! I feel like I'm coming home, and I'm excited to be back in a state where my coaching roots begun. Charlie's great. He's the perfect fit for the University of South Florida at this point in time. He's a player's coach. He knows what they want. He knows what they need. He wants them to succeed not only uh, as a team and as players, but he wants them to succeed in life, and he's got a great track record for that. And for me, I just think our personalities mesh well. We, we, we want to win. We want to win in the right way. And I think we've seen things not only uh, in our careers that uh, we know what it takes, and uh, he's been successful in many places, and uh, we want to make sure we give our, our student athletes everything that we can to make them successful. Well, I'm a great believer that, that all things happen for a reason and finding the right fit for things at the right time. And uh, I truly felt called to, to be here at this point in time. I've, I've got a uh, great affinity for the Tampa Bay community and for the University of South Florida. Uh, both of them, hand in hand, gave me a chance in an early part of my career with the uh, Final Four back in 1999 when the University of South Florida was the host institution uh, and then eventually they run the Super Bowl here and then come back uh, and be an associate AD at, at South Florida at that point in time was a big, big deal. And I've stayed in touch with the Tampa Bay community ever since uh, with different jobs I've had along the way. And to kind of have the timing of, of uh, great success here at USF Athletics at a time where we have needs for uh, growing and building facilities to add on to things that we can do as, a, as an athletic department just, just feels right. And I couldn't be, couldn't be happier to be uh, back here in the Tampa Bay community and specifically at USF. We obviously strive to be Tampa Bay's college team, and we are. Uh, every great community uh, has a great university in, in Tampa Bay. That, that is the University of South Florida. My name is Michael Kelly, and I'm Vice President of Athletics at the University of South Florida. Where does strength come from? The Bulls knock off a Power 5 team in a city, team for the second consecutive Your home? Or is it where you are going? And this is going for a touchdown, six for the Bulls. All the work and effort that brought you here to the moments that define you. Strength isn't about what you can do. It's about what can be accomplished as a team. A family pushing each other toward greatness to define their own legacy for a new era on the Bay. This is Bulls country. Bull strong inside USF football. Two claps in the room, claps, two claps in the room, Woo! Welcome our student athletes, our coaches, and to really get all the information you need to be a great Bulls fan this year. Kicking off the 2018 season, the Bulls of South Florida hosted alumni, fans, and family at the Yingling Center on campus offering Bulls of all ages a chance to meet their team and the coaching staff as the entire USF family anxiously anticipated the start of a new football season. A new partnership with Adidas means a fresh look for a new era. So it was fitting that they would be revealed by the legends of the past. You know, I'm just overall excited to have an opportunity to go out there and show the fans these new jerseys the guys will be wearing this year. That's a pretty unique opportunity. We waited a pretty long time for black jerseys. In fact, when I came here on my recruiting visit, they spoke about black jerseys. And here it is 10 years later, they're actually releasing them. And I look forward to actually seeing the guys wear those jerseys. Obviously, changing to Adidas is a 
kind of a big deal. You know, we've been under armor for a while or so. It's, it's nice seeing a, a, a new change. I think it's a step in the right direction uh, to continue to grow. Um, that's the biggest thing. And just the, the, the fact that, you know, a school out of a trailer could do something so well and continue to grow and continue to build. So um, that was really amazing to me and something I genuinely appreciate. I have a lot of respect for Charlie Strong, a lot of respect. He's intense, um, I know he's serious, but I also know he's a loving coach. And when you know a coach cares about you, not only as a player, but as a person, it makes you want to play the game that much harder. You know, they don't need anything handed to him, and, and I know that he's going to push them to all their ability. Very consistent guy and who he is, and, and man, and as a father, and um, you know, as, a, as a role model, and you know, he, he definitely has the respect of the entire state of Florida. Um, so I hope he will continue to, you know, help our young men grow as football players and men. And I just, I think he's the right person to do that. It felt great to see these fans out here showing so much respect for the university. I don't think individuals really understand how much that means to us players. I think traditionally guys don't show too much emotion, but I guarantee you some of those guys sitting out here watching all these fans walking around showing appreciation for the names on the back of the jersey, the Bulls in general, it means a lot. I think anyone around here can not only see but feel the excitement that's going on. With the success we've had here in the past two years, if you don't want to be involved with what's going on here at the University of South Florida, you're out of your mind. Go Bulls. Go Bulls. Go Bulls. ago when they started the football program where it is now and how we're building this thing is a huge difference from where it was. Yeah, one thing we're constantly talking about right now is we're gonna get better business and every day we just gotta show up, guys gotta continue to work, work their craft, uh, do what they've been coached to do, do what they've been asked to do. A lot of these guys got a lot of uh, potential about them, a lot of talented players. So we're just staying in a get better business. Every day show up, let's go to work, put our hard hat on, go up, go to work, you know, and sweat a little bit and let's get better. Well, we got some new faces. You know, scheme-wise, we'll be very similar to what we were last year. We just have new guys, you know, in roles that have been filled, you know, by guys that have played a lot of football at South Florida. I think that we've got a team that we've been around them for a year now, a full season and a spring. And into this fall camp, we can feel, they understand what we're expecting. Um, we understand them. We know where they're coming from. We know their backgrounds. We're getting to know them even more. And they know what we're about, you know? So I think as a staff and a team, we put it together to where now we have an identity. We know what our core values are. We know what, as a team, what Coach Strong expects. Two years ago, we won 11 games. This past year, we won 10. So we had to be consistent. And when we become consistent and we'll continue to win year in and year out, then we'll get to where we need to get to. Well, I mean, there's still going to be the same structure of what we're going to do. I think the, the number one thing is becoming more physical up front. I think from a technique and fundamental standpoint, we're going to be a lot more consistent every single snap. Well, there's really no, uh, there's really no limit to where, where we can go. As I said, we're so proud of what we've accomplished to date as a relatively young program. Uh, but now we know where we are, we've had success, and we need to continue to inject resources and, and be smart about what, what we need to continue to be successful and to even elevate that. So we know where we're going, and when we get there, it's going to feel that much better from all the hard work and the great support that we've gotten. But uh, it's, it's an exciting time to be a Bull, and it's only going to get better. When the Bulls take the field at Raymond James Stadium, uh, I just would like to see the, the stadium packed. Um, you know, Raymond James was, was rocking before, and I feel like it can continue to rock now. So I hope that, you know, our city and community continues to support, support this football team as it continues to grow.
Uh, some of these fans don't understand how big of an impact it is, but when the stadium's, you know, 40, 50, 60,000 people deep, it, it pumps us up and, and, and gets us excited and makes us play better. So I'm just hoping everybody can uh, show up this year and support the team. This segment of Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Tampa General Hospital. The last holiday weekend of the summer, the first of many holiday-like weekends in a new season of South Florida football. And the USF family picked up where they left off, hoping their Bulls can do the same. Hey, go Bulls, baby! Go Bulls! As always, the players change in college football, but this year's Bulls will be marching to the beat of the exact same coaching staff under second year head coach Charlie Strong. With that kind of stable leadership replacing 13 starters from a 10-win team is a little less daunting. It was almost like a family reunion with plenty of hugs and handshakes for a team that had won 21 of their last 25 games. Strong entering year two of his era, 10 and two last season, a Birmingham Bowl win. What are the expectations this year for South Florida? Well, for South Florida, the expectations are a conference championship and the right to compete for a national championship. This is the American Conference, the one Group Five conference that everyone talks about that has the potential for a champion. Two claps in the rim, clap, two claps in the rim, clap. The non-conference opener had the Phoenix of Elon University visiting. Bulls fans on their feet here at Raymond James Stadium. This went off again to Summers, and the Bulls defense going to eat them up this time. It's third and seven. Davis Cheek, first throw of the night, and it's picked off. Vincent Jackson. Quinton Flowers was gone after 38 straight starts at quarterback. Jackson's interception put the ball into the hands of the new starter who had stints at Alabama and Arizona State. Blake Barnett, first snap as the Bulls signal caller. Flares this one out, Tyree McCants gets his hands on it and takes it up for seven yards. Barnett won the job during camp and immediately looked at home in his new home. Now Barnett goes for the home run, touchdown! Randall St. Felix, South Florida on the board. It's hard to get off to a better start. The defense produces a turnover, the offense takes advantage and scores a touchdown. Some of the names have changed, but it's results like this that had the Bulls ranked for 20 straight weeks over the last two seasons. Barnett goes for the home run again. He's got his man, Randall St. Felix. This will be a 33-yard attempt for the new kicker, Jake Vivanetto. No matter how you prepare for a new season, there's always a level of uncertainty until you see the results of your labor in action. And it didn't take long for the Bulls to leave an imprint with many new starters contributing. Trent Schneider, the 28-year-old Australian native, puts it in the air. And this one is boomed nearly out of the end zone. That's going to be a weapon for USF this year. Special teams and defense had big roles in creating a field position advantage for the Bulls in the first half. Number 90, Kevin Kegler, the sophomore. He's the guy who has made a living in the backfield. Cheek throws it over the middle. It's intercepted after tipped in the air. USF setting up a convoy. And it was Mike Hampton, the best cover corner for the Bulls in the right place at the right time. And Barnett produced the best scoring debut game for a quarterback in school history with his legs and his arm. Here we go again. He flares it out to the right. Caught by McCants. Breaking tackles. Fighting for the end zone. And he's going to be in. Touchdown. The Bulls would score on four of their first five possessions against an Elon team that had been ranked as high as seventh in the FCS polls last season. 20 yard line. The deep ball has been working, and this time Darnell Solomon there to reel it in. Barnett 
fake, wow. throws wide wow. open, Mitchell Wilcox wow. in a zip code of his own. Touchdown USF. Three first half touchdown passes helped Barnett to the weekly American Conference honor roll. Ray J was rocking and the defense kept on rolling. Running for his life. You know, he has got to be just exhausted. He just kills it at the 26. Just too many green and gold jerseys coming at him. Barnett will try and take off. Blake powers in for the score. And you talk about earning the respect of your offensive ball club. Blake Barnett channeled his inner Quentin Flowers on this play. He gets hit at the one yard line and continues to fight to get the touchdown. That is how you earn the respect of your offensive line, of your defense, and of your coaching staff. When you talk about Charlie Strong, you talk about the calmness, you talk about what he wants to develop with these kids outside of being great football players. He wants these young men to be great citizens when they finish the game of football and understand the importance of taking advantage of the opportunities that you have to go to a great institution of higher learning and not only play football on TV on Saturdays, but earn a degree and do something outside of football. Those higher standards at South Florida are a reason this program is one of only 15 in the country to produce 20 or more wins over the last two seasons. Their 34-14 opening win over Elon had this group of young bulls pointed in the right direction again in a new season where the sky is the limit and Georgia Tech the next challenge. Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Coca-Cola. Hooters. Tampa General Hospital. USF Health. We've accomplished so much here, um, at times with so little. The fans have waited, the players have waited, the staff has waited. Um, I think it's just about time to continue taking things to the next level. You know, we're not the same team that was in the portables, you know, some 20 years ago. Um, we're continuing to grow and expand, and, you know, we've had some really dynamic people to come out of this school. And that's just a true illustration of the heart that we have here at this program. The Bull Strong Inside USF Football Postgame Report is brought to you by USF Health. You know, a great team victory, guys, but the, you look at us and we started off there on defense. You know, the first drive that they had the ball, they were able to run the ball nine times and we weren't able to get off the field and we got us a, a turnover. Davis Chief, first throw of the night, and it's picked off. Then late in the game, we had the game put away and they were able to get two drives where we just, we we got to learn how to finish. But it was some really good uh, individual efforts out there. And now you look at Blake, you know, three touchdowns, 305 yards, and one rushing touchdown. Barnett will try and take off. Blake powers in for the score. St. Felix, he has looked the way he looked tonight since spring practice. Goes for the home run. Touchdown. You know, camp's really, uh, you know, it, it's tough because you just want to go out and play and see a different opponent. So, um, you know, preparation, meeting, opportunity, I think we did a good job tonight. With that being said, there's a lot of stuff that we left on the field, um, but it's everything that we can learn for and improve on for next week. Game one, 2018 season. You know, it's been a long process, you know, from summer to fall camp. You know, we just going against each other, so we was ready to go against another opponent. So. We, we came out here, we, 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 weren't, we weren't perfect, but you know, we played good. We, got, we could get better. And then we were able to play a, a, a lot of our young guys. You've seen uh, Johnny Ford go in. You know, he's not very big, but uh, he's really exciting to watch. There's a pretty impressive freshman, Johnny Ford, number 20. He is a spark plug. 
getting his first carry. And then on defense, Gates had another a true freshman, had a big sack. Uh, Sawtell had a sack, uh, even Kurt Livingston. Glad to see him come out and play the way he did. Um, you know, um, I like how we played in the beginning of the game. We came out in the fourth quarter. We, I didn't like how we played in the fourth quarter. We didn't finish as we supposed to finish, and I feel like we got to get better. I had, a, <laughs> I had a blast tonight going back on the field. I mean, it's been a whole year since I've been out there, and I've just been itching to get back on the field. And it was a great feeling being out there, starting, of course, and then just going out there and making a couple tackles. It's just. I came out there, I mean, I didn't even have a little butterflies in my stomach. I was just ready to go out there. I mean, I was just, it was great. Great. I mean, defense did an awesome job tonight getting turnovers, being able to get there with these guys and, and execute what we've been practicing is, is a really good feeling. You know, it just, it come down to effort. I just run into the ball every play, and it made it seem like I was on every play, and it feel like, it, it seemed like the defense was designed, but it just was effort at the end of the day. It was great playing with them, like Makai, Mazzy, Mike Camp. Oh, it's love seeing the Tampa Bay people playing in Tampa Bay because I feel like if we all started playing in Tampa Bay, it would be scary for colleges. So, no, it's great being out there with a bunch of Tampa guys. You got a lot of chemistry out there. People sleep on you. We let them sleep. We show them when we get out there. We're getting ready for Georgia Tech. Just getting into the film room tomorrow and this upcoming week trying to prepare Georgia Tech. Everything's going to be expected of us next week, and we got to play better.